between LVDT and RVDT. Uh, first, let me talk about differential output sensor. We all know that there are two types of differential output sensor, naming or LVDT and RVDT. But today, I'm going to show the comparison between LVDT and RVDT. So, first, LVDT stands for Linear Variable Differential Transducer. Uh, in there, L it stands for linear because of its measuring of uh, linear displacement. And V stands for variable because uh, in the construction of LVDT, we have a movable core. So we call it variable. And L stands for differential. Uh, differential means natural null y in middle. And we have T for transducer. Transducer mean uh, transducer receives AC output, uh, AC input, and uh, give it to AC output. So LVDT is linear variable differential transducer. And the main function of LVDT is measuring of linear displacement. <coughs> means for rotary VDT means for <coughs> the same meanings of RVDT. Uh, RVDT is you uh, is you for angular displacement. <coughs> so uh, in the construction of LVDT, as we talked about in the previous slide, um, V stands for V stands for variable of a uh, movable coil. So we know that uh, we exactly know that there is a there is a coil inside there is a coil inside the hollow tube of uh, the coil the coil and uh, the main the main is that LVDT consists of three coins a primary coin and two secondary coins naming we can name it S1 and S2 and the uh, last consider is that um, voltage in S1 as EMF1 or E1 in or uh, voltage in S2 as EMF2 or E2. So uh, we know that uh, there is a there is a uh, there is a cylindrical tube cylindrical tube in which the iron rectangle co. Construction of RVDD. Uh, RVDD also has the same structure, uh, structure with LVDD. Uh, <clears throat> the first thing is different from LVDD is uh, the core. Uh, the, the core inside LVDD is uh, ion core and uh, the core inside LVDD is uh, uh, ferromagnetic core in the center containing a shift. Uh, in the operating function of LVDT, uh, since the primary winding or linear variable differential transformer LVDT is supplied with AC supply, uh, AC supply is for transducer, we know that, and it produces an alternating magnetic flex in the core, which in turn with the secondary winding S1 and S2 to produce EMF due to transformer action. AC output voltage is converted by suitable electron circuitry to a high level DC voltage or current that is more convenient to use. And there are three conditions about the LVDT characteristic. In case one, if the core is located midway between S1 and S2, differential voltage output is zero because of its null void. Uh, in this diagram, uh, the moving core, if the moving core is inside these two secondary coins, uh, it, uh, we generally we consider the reset as E1 minus E2. So we have the same voltage if uh, if the core, uh, if the moving core is uh, center of Two secondary coins, uh, two secondary coins. The voltage or uh, the voltage of two secondary coins are equal. So E1 minus E2 is zero. Uh, in case two, uh, if the core is moved closer to S1 than S2, uh, E2 is increased as E1 is decreased, resulting in differential voltage E2 minus E1. Uh, in this session, uh, if the goal is uh, in this diagram, if the goal is move, uh, moving towards uh, moving towards the first secondary coil, uh, the voltage in the this first secondary coil is more than that of uh, that of the second secondary coils. So 
uh, the result will be the greater one minus the greater or uh, the, the less one, which is uh, E2 minus E1. And in case 3, if the goal is moved closer to S2 than, uh, than to S1, E1 is increased as E2 is decreased, uh, resulting in the differential voltage the voltage is e, uh, E1 minus E2. Uh, in this, uh, the moving goal is uh, the moving goal is down below uh, near the uh, near the second secondary goal. Uh, near the, uh, so the voltage of an S2 is more than the voltage of S1. So the result will be E2 minus E1. Uh, operate, uh, operating functions or RVDD and RVDD transducer, the shift inside the movable coin is rotated. And if it rotates in clockwise direction, the EMS in S1 is greater than that of F2 and it will be in phase with the input signal. As uh, it rotates in any clockwise direction, the EMF in S1 will be greater than that of S1 and uh, it will be 180 degree out of phase with the input signal. Uh, <clears throat> uh, let, me <clears throat> let me explain the circuit diagram of RVDD. Uh, there is a shift inside the core. Uh, Inside the core, the sheet is moving between primary windies and the secondary windy. <coughs> secondary windy. <coughs> if the uh, if the uh, if the LVDD uh, if the LVDD is used, it is used, it is used uh, as we know that it is used to measure angular uh, angular movement. Uh, if the LVDD is used, the shaft inside the core is rotated. Uh, rotator seen in the diagram. So uh, that is how RVDD work. So let me talk about the guide results of LVDD. Uh, there are two outputs of uh, there are two types of output in LVDD. Uh, first, let me explain about uh, LVDD AC output. And as we discussed in the previous slide. Uh, if the moving goal is centered between uh centered between two secondary coil, uh secondary coil there is a null voltage which is zero is happen. Uh if if it is moved to the S1, then S2 move closer to the S1. Uh so uh the the resulting voltage will be E1 minus E2 and the and the another will be E2 minus E1. Uh, <coughs> <clears throat> now, LVDD also have a DC outputs of characteristic. Uh, uh, one the degree phases can be used to determine the direction of the core from the null point by means of approximate circuitry. The polarity of the output signal represents the core position relationship to null point. So, uh, in the usage of LVDT, uh, as the LVDT does not require an an electrical contact between the moving and the coin, the moving and the coin assembly, and it used mainly on the electromagnetic cabling, LVDT is used in harsh environments and the high vibration and shock levels. But in LVDT, but in LVDT, we know that uh, we know that uh, uh, LVDT consists of and housing with steel. So uh, it is used to ensure a long light and reliable rapid, ever, rapid evaporation sensor with infinite resolution. Uh, such reliable and rapid ever performance assures accurate position sensing under the most extreme operating conditions. Uh, <clears throat> there are uh, many applications of RVDD. Uh, in all of these, uh, let me explain some uh, some applications of LVDD. Uh, first, uh, hydraulic cylinder display map. LVDD are you extensions to provide display map feedback for hydraulic cylinder. Several mounting and configuration, both internet and external, are discussed. Waiting system. 
<coughs> Next one, it will be that low safe and other type of waiting equipment such as chest waiting system can benefit from the infinite resolution and high accuracy of an LVDs. And the last one is <coughs> the last one is uh, yeah, that's all. That's all. Hmm. Uh, in the applications of LVDT, uh, RVDD, uh, we all can see this many of these applications. Uh, and there we can see that there are some important applications like military support control systems which need uh, which need a uh, reliable and repeatability position sensor with infinite resolution. And uh, like internet radar and sonar system, uh, they are uh, they are very important. Uh, they are very important. Uh, that LVTT has to be long life and reliable. And also as GPS and navigation systems, it also need long life, reliable, reliable, rapid available position sensor with infinite resolutions. So these are the applications of RVTT. <coughs> there are advantages and disadvantages of LVTT. Um, <laughs> let me explain advantages and uh, some advantages of LVDD. LVDD has high sensitivity, high voltage output, less friction, low hysteresis, and uh, repeatability is excellent and low power consumption. <laughs> but uh, there are disadvantages of LVDD. Uh, requiring large displacements for LVDDs and, and temperature affects the performance and LVDD is not suitable for dynamics measurement. Uh, like, RV, uh, like LVDD, uh, there are many uh, advantages and disadvantages of RVDD also have. Uh, in the advantages of RVDD, uh, RVDD, can, uh, RVDD can provide an extremely reliable solution for precision angular displacement measurement. And it has low sensitivity to temperature, primary voltage and frequency variations, low cost. Uh, it is a simple control circuit. It's a single control circuit and it's also had a small size. In the disadvantages of RVDT, it requires a dedicated control circuit. Uh, and it uses more current than DC models, high dog output achieved at low speeds. <coughs> uh, as, a uh, uh, as a summary, uh, the main difference between LVDDs and LVDD transducer are this. Uh, LVDD is used for linear displacement, measurements, while LVDD is used for rotational and gas. And the goal inside <laughs> Inside LVDD is a rectangular ion go path. LVDD has a rotary ferromagnetic uh, go. Uh, the sensitivity of LVDD is uh, 2.4 LV per both per degree of rotation and that of LVDD is 2 to 3 LV per both per degree of rotation. And the impulse measuring range of LVDD is plus or minus 100 micrometer to plus or minus 25 centimeter. Why? <coughs> LVDD can measure F to plus or minus 40 degree as an angle. So, uh, in conclusion, we take reference from uh, the below links. Uh, so, I hope that by this video, uh, we can help we can help you and uh, we can help we can help that uh, we can help you to know about the comparison between uh, LVDD and RVDD more than before thank you for watching